Got caught in the rain yesterday. Went down to the Oconomowoc Fall Festival, my wife and I took the motorcycle. And we knew there was a chance, 50% chance of rain. And just as we were leaving, it started to rain. I thought it'd just be a sprinkle. Ended up being a full on downpour. And that, it was cold. But we made it home and it was actually quite an adventure. So I chalk it up as a memorable experience. So this is my first time using the Senna GP10 GoPro backpack. Hopefully you can hear me. Should be UHD audio. I can kind of tell that it's working because I get feedback or not, I shouldn't say feedback. I get a um, side tone or um, audio feedback, I guess you'd say, not um, loop feedback like you would hear a squeal when it's, when it's on. And it said it was connected, it says it's UHD audio. It's pretty sweet how that works. You can just one touch in the back, you can go between UHD and then you can go to normal, which sounds like a, a phone. And I think that's what you get when you're pairing with multiple people. So today what I thought we'd do is I would take you through some more rustic roads. I already have the photographs for them so we don't have to stop and get the signs what can do is just run right through. So there's, uh, I hap happen to live uh, next to one here within a mile or less. I think it's uh, Rustic Road 10. And when I was uh, in high school many years ago, my friend lived out this way. And I remember we would go to the record store or the stores around here in Oconomowoc. And his parents would drive us and we'd, we'd take this Rustic Road and I was always amazed at how cool the road was. Lots of twisties. We had to go really slow. Now, you many years later, I actually live right next to it and I take this road all the time. Beautiful sunny day on Sunday. So there's the rustic road there just starting after we uh, cross the stop sign. What's nice about this this rustic road is it has, there's the, there's the sign, see the GoPro probably puts out a little bit more than it is, but rustic road 10. What's nice is this one dips down in a curve, nice twisty, and then it um, you see lake on both sides, upper and lower Nababin. And a lot of times people will be out there Paddle boarding, stand-up boarding, canoeing, boating, fishing. There's people right here. There's uh, often a lot of cars just stopped. And that's where they'll park to take a trail to get onto the lake, go fish or something like that. You can see the lake there. We're actually going to take three rustic roads. They're chained together. So it's going to be this one. It'll turn into another one. And I'll talk about that shortly. And then uh, we'll go to a third not sure how long this will take us, but this rustic road is just a couple miles. It's really not that long at all. You don't really, I noticed with the GoPro, you don't really get a sense of the twisties, but you can see the lake. Uh, there's a car behind me, so I can't slow down. There's the lake, and a lake there. I wanted to stop, but hey, car behind us. You gotta be careful, there's lots of deer out here so they can cross your path, so you gotta, gotta hover your brake. Just be quiet for a little bit, we'll let her ride out here. There's Upper Nababin. One thing I'm learning to do with uh, this vlogging stuff is with the camera on my chin, I, I'm one of those avid head turner looker type people where I turn my head quite a bit to see who's oncoming traffic, crossing traffic. You know, that search, evaluate, execute, and um, 
I noticed that when you have a camera, if I do all this movement, it um, doesn't work out cinematically, I guess you'd say. So I'm doing a lot more of it with my eyes, or trying to do more of it with my eyes rather than turning. But I do want to be safe, so I, I will opt for safety over that. Beautiful day today. It's in the 60s, I think, which is fantastic weather to be outside, especially when the sun is out midday. So that was it for the twisty part, and the rest of this is just kind of some uh, canopy type rustic road where it's just um, trees and such. Like I said, I had my, we got caught in the rain yesterday. I finished my thought that I was talking about there. We got caught in the rain and my, my gloves are soaking wet. So I put them on the fan last night and they're still pretty wet. So I figured I'd turn the handlebar heaters on. See if we can dry them out while we're riding here today. You actually don't get a lot of wind on this Ultra Classic due to the fairing. So with the Cena GoPro, or um, the Bluetooth backpack, I'm pretty impressed with it. It has a battery itself so it doesn't suck the juice out of the GoPro, which is pretty important because the GoPro battery is crap. And if you have a, <coughs> excuse me, if you have a, a 3 and a 4, then you've got different batteries you have to buy. I love technology, I love forward momentum, but sometimes it just sucks in the pocketbook, you know? Anyways, with the, I opted to get the, the backpack with the waterproof case. Glad I did that. Which is the case, I don't know if you can see in front of me, it's just by the GPS on the handlebar. And it comes with its own waterproof case. I wonder, it's very similar to GoPro's version, so I wonder if they collaborate and license and stuff like that. But there's a, I'll, I'll probably have to do a, a video montage of the whole Senna setup, but there is a, a USB connector that goes on its side, so you can't use the standard GoPro housing. So you get an equivalent of the frame, a GoPro frame, and then you get um, this waterproof housing. Well, if you upgrade to the, the more expensive version, you get this waterproof housing, and I'm glad I did. And what's really cool is the waterproof housing comes with a skeleton back door as well as a solid back door. So if you really want to be waterproof, right now I don't care about that. All right, so that ends uh, Road 10, or Rustic Road 10. Right up here to our left, we're going to turn and get onto another Rustic Road. Like I said, they're all chained together, which is really nice. And they're really close to my house, which makes it even better. Again, I got all the, I have all the pictures for them, so we don't have to stop and get those. We can just ride on through. Rustic Road 115. 115, three miles. Again, another short one. Our third one is going to be relatively longer. What's really neat is this is the first time, well, this is actually the second time I've been on this road. So if you can believe it, I've been out here in Oconnawak. I've been out, I lived in Waukesha most of my life. Lived in Oconnawak here. My wife and I built a house. I've been out here for, I don't know, 11 years. This road, we pass it all the time. This is my second time on it. It wasn't when I decided I want to get a picture of the rustic road that I, of the sign itself. I figured it's, hey, it's close, I can get it any time. It wasn't until recently that I actually did it. And um, it just happened upon this road, and I cannot believe I spent all this many years, and I've missed this road. It's a beautiful road. It's got really good pavement, excellent canopy. And we'll just... Um, just let it go here. Yeah, 
you have to watch it on these roads because the uh, just a lot of time there's gravel, so you really can't take these at speed. Really got to listen to uh, listen to the road, get the feedback of the road, how it's handling. Oh, that's another thing. I was out on one of these roads and my front wheel got all squirrely on me. I was like, what the heck is going on? It just felt like the... It was one of those roads that had a lot of um, repair done to it. And it just felt like my bearings were out and just all squirrely. So the next day I got up. There's some gravel. You can't see it. Lots and lots of gravel. So we'll take this really slow. I don't know if you can even hear it under the tires. Anyways, I went to check my front tire. It's like nearly bald. So I really got to take it easy here. I was really nervous when we hit that rain yesterday. But we made it, just took it slow and we made it. So I got to get the tires changed out ASAP. Really hate how motorcycle tires don't last mileage wise. I'm on, uh, so we'll turn left here. Squirrel, literally. Forty five miles an hour, all right, here we go. I believe 45 miles an hour is the maximum you can take on a rustic road. I think it's limited in Wisconsin to that. It's actually this is the first time I think I'm talking with the the shield down. I wonder if it makes a difference on the audio of the GoPro backpack. Definitely, I can hear my own voice in the helmet more. I've been working on trying to get a decent audio track for the motorcycle itself because the GoPro doesn't pick it up. So I bought, well, first of all, I put up a ASMR video of just my motorcycle at idle. I was experimenting with this audio device. It's a Tascam, was it IM2? And it's a condenser microphone for the iPhone. And it's got a 30 pin contactor, connector so it you know, it's for older iPhones. What's awesome about it is only $10. There's another lake. I don't know which one that is. I'll have to look that up. $10 on Amazon with Prime, so I couldn't pass that up. Anyways, it takes really good audio. So I turned it on and threw it in my tour pack. I would assume that the audio is going to be crap. But we'll try it trying to figure out how I can mount that to the bike without it rattling and get some good audio track of the motorcycle and the environment without wind noise. So that'll be my next adventure. Here we go, we're ending this rustic road coming up on Highway 18. By the way, Highway 18, this road right here. So we're going to cross right, right across and we'll head into another rustic road. But this is um, Highway 18, many miles to my left, goes into the city of Waukesha. And that is where Sunset Bowl is. And Sunset Bowl, if you don't know, is where Cheap Trick got signed. And I will do a video of that someday. Rustic Road 86, here's our last one. This one's actually a longer one. It's got some twisties on it. And um, I'll show you this really cool part. I'm a big fan of GPS. My wife thinks I'm silly for having a GPS all the time, but it isn't about necessarily about where to turn as much as I use a GPS as a navigation aid and I'll demonstrate to you how I use that. There's a turn up here that's really sharp because you're going uphill, you don't see it. You can't see that turns really sharp to your left, but you can see it on the GPS. All right. 
Let's wave to these guys here. So what I like to do on this road, this one's really straight. So I'll put it just above 35. Speed, we'll say, we'll say 35. That's a speed limit. A lot of guys out today. Acres, haven't seen them on the road before. All right. Set the cruise and just sit back in my recliner chair here. So this rustic road actually has three sections to it. So we're on the first section. We'll cross over, I think it's Highway C, and then we'll go straight through that. Consider that the second section. That one has um, a lot of twists. This segment is, is quite um, straight. The second one has the uh, twisties. And the third is just plain fun, and it's short. So we'll head across this road here, and that will be our second section of this rustic road. We're starting to get into some twisties. So I don't know if you can see the GPS, but you may want to watch the GPS a little bit. This is uh, this is the section that I was talking about where I like to use the GPS as a navigation aid. Aid. First few times I took this road, I use it a lot. Now I have the road pretty much memorized. But you can see, look at this. You can see it's turning slight. Look at the GPS. It's a pretty sharp turn left. This isn't the big one that I'm talking about, but I'll, I'll show you in a little bit. And this one has lots of gravel usually, so you got to be careful. So if you took that at a high rate of speed, you would have you would have gotten yourself into trouble.
So here you see a turn. I think this is the one I was talking about originally. It does say turn, but you can't see the turn. On the GPS, you can see it. This one drops off quite abruptly. Again, if you were at high speed, you wouldn't have seen that. This one is the one that actually saved me. I was booking along pretty good, and then I saw that on the GPS, and I slowed down. I think that one saved my butt. So again, big fan of GPS on a motorcycle. Great for getting places. Also, it's great for getting lost. You can just go get lost. Take any turn you want. Just go. When you're done, press the home button and it'll take you home. Look at this. Big left, big right hand turn. Again, I apologize if you can't see the GPS. I know the GoPro in its field of view makes it difficult at times. The sun might make it difficult. Can you imagine this in the winter time? I don't know how these guys do it that live here. Some days in Wisconsin, the winter roads can get pretty crappy. So that guy, hopefully you he heard the horn. Yeah, I don't think he did. It's all right, we'll give him room. So we're coming up on the end of this section and we're gonna get into the third one, which I rarely take, but it's actually pretty fun. It's a nice, uh, well, I shouldn't, actually, I don't remember it too well. But I remember having some twists and canopies and uh, your classic rustic road. Here's one of my favorite parts, the tall trees. I don't know if you can get that on the camera. Awesome this day is. Ah, it's a three-way stop. Didn't even notice. So we'll turn right. And this road will take us out to Highway 59. And that will be the end of our rustic road adventure for the day. Yeah, I remember the the road was not as well a shape. If I remember right, there's some gravel up here on one of the turns too. Gotta watch out for these cars; they're taking it pretty fast.
pretty much ends it, I believe. turn left here and that'll take us right to Highway 59. And it looks like the GPS is hung up. Which happens every now and then. So that was it. That was the uh, three rustic roads all chained together. Thanks for coming along. And I'm going a little too fast. Hey, the GPS is back. There's the end sign. Get this truck going, and then we'll head back to the house. Nice, quick Sunday drive. Unfortunately, I have to work today, so I can't can't do a whole lot more riding. Maybe this afternoon, if everything goes well. <laughs> 